<laughs> but you know, it's exciting to uh, have my special guest on, which is uh, Dr. Rogers, and it's really we have a lot of fun, you and I, when we get going, don't we? You, you betcha, Dr. Edget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, doctor of nothing. But anyway, we want to first of all say hi to all the viewers out there. I'm not the kind of doctor that can do you any good either. <laughs> you do me plenty good. You're a nice guy. But uh, we want to say hi to everybody out there and wave. And uh, thank you for watching live at the NABC. And you can see that today's a beautiful day. Just a gorgeous day, ain't it? Absolutely. Thank goodness. <laughs> I didn't want to stand out here and freeze. Well, we've had some uh, pretty interesting weather the last few weeks, but today, because you're here, yeah, huh? he right, yeah. decided to be nice. Wow! It's not what you know, who you, it's who you know, and I don't want to. I don't want to brag and say who I know. Well, you can't tell me they know how to control the weather because if we could do that, we'd have it made. I'm talking about God. <laughs> okay. All right. Anyway, we just want to say hi out there to everybody. We want to say hi out there to the moderators, the viewers. Uh, PTZ operators. Um, we just really are excited to have all the World Wide Web looking at us. We're hoping some of the interns are watching uh, that have been here before. If you are, hi out there. Let's say hi to the interns. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and let's say hi to the bear educators. Hi. And let's say hi to all the volunteers that were here this year that did such a fabulous job. Hi. I do what I'm told. <laughs> well, I really mean it. <laughs> What's that? But I really mean it. Yeah. He doesn't do what he's told. He don't really mean it. <laughs> <laughs> at least he, at least him and I don't agree on that one. <laughs> but we do agree. <laughs> yeah, but we can agree to disagree, right? I guess so. I don't know what we're disagreeing about. We're not. Oh, okay. See? But anyway, we want to just say hi to everybody out there. And you know what? We have some important days coming up. We have an important day in November. And you probably don't remember the date. What is it? November 15th. What is that? Give to the Max Day. Wow! And how an important day is that for the North American Bear Center? It's important for the pond here. It is important. No, we talk about the pond. You see how we work together? Him and I were right on key. Yeah, right. Look at how low our pond is right now. If the cam operator can look and zoom in, we haven't added no water. We've had rain. We've had moisture. Petey's down there. A Spencer it's in the ice. But uh, you can see on this dropped, and that was after Spencer and myself and John patched it. It's draining down on its own because it's got them leaks at the bottom that probably reseparated. And that is going to be our goal for Give to the Max. And we will be announcing next Wednesday what our dollar goal is, but it is going to be to fix this pond, correct? Yes, right, yep, right, yep. Yeah, and our bears enjoy this pond so much. And make it deeper. And make it deeper. Yes, we're going to make it about two to three feet deeper. Yep. And nicer for viewing. Yep. Um, not really bigger. We're not changing yep. the falls. The falls are great. Right, yeah, right. But we're going to change the I intakes. Know great. He knows they're great. <laughs> Why is that? I'm not saying. Because he designed them. <laughs> because he's the falls designer. <laughs> right, right. So you but, could say, but, wait. But you, I don't claim that. I, so what we could say is you're the fall guy. Oh, hey. Right. I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> so after all this we, and we got pond problems, we've got a fall guy. Right. And that's Lynn. He's the fall guy. That's why the pond is leaking. No, I'm oh, just kidding. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> but you you and, and others, uh, this, uh, you just patched the pond all around but it didn't hold no it didn't because uh underneath it there's not a liner and um you know they did it right of quite a few years back and had to do it a little bit a little bit more repairing but now we're going to fix it once and for all really good and we've got a great company that's going to be doing it low impact in ely here and they're going to be digging it all up yep. and they're going to be lining it twice with two rubber liners because uh, of the weather conditions up here. We have actually, to do that. Actually, all, I don't even say this, but I mean, a part of history was that when we built this, we did buy the rubber liner. Okay. And it was not low impact to put it in. Right. And they, they did not use the liner. They didn't think they needed it with all the cement. And oh, boy. Where's the liner? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> 
Well, that answers that. See, he does know things. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, quite and a bit. So, um, uh, anyway, uh, the cement, you know, well, there's all clay under it uh, that was maybe would hold it. They would. So then came the cement and the liner, but they didn't use the liner. And uh, now we're going to have to pay for a liner again. Well, you know, we're going to double line it this year, uh, this coming spring, and we have a date uh, that they're working on right now, and it really is weather-related, but it's the first project on their list, and I know this company, they will get it done as promised, because yeah. that's how good they we are. We like that. We yes. like that. And, and they're friends of ours, too. Yes, they are. They're supporters. They're friends. They're friends of uh, two of our biggest uh uh, donors and supporters, but everybody is an important donor and supporter across the, the North American Bear Center. Everybody and give that a max day is huge for that. Yeah. Huge. That's when I I just end up when I see the money coming in, and seeing how people care. It just uh, I mean I I just really feel so fortunate that people share the mission of this place. And want good things to happen, especially with education. Boy, it's well spoken. And, you know, this whole North American Bear Center really is uh, a dream of yours and yet turned into the dream by the donors and the, the generous givers of time and dollars. Yeah. A lot of time, too. Right. Absolutely. Every which way. And, uh, and the bio that they're making for the exhibit. Uh, I mean, I give ideas for it, you know, and I told them that that's very important to say. Yeah, it is. And another thing that we want to just uh, say and give a big, huge uh, thank you for is just just plain the amount of time that all of our volunteers give out there. We've got volunteers all over the world that give so much, and I never, ever realized the scope of a, a volunteer group yeah. um, as we've got here. And uh, uh, here we got 30,000. That means we don't nobody what they're worth. Uh, we rely on volunteers to carry out the mission. And thank goodness for Lily fans, the people that are listening to the cat that. Um, yeah, that's very true, and I, I got to tell you that we are very, very uh, close to the North, uh, to the International Wolf Center, and, and we partner up a lot on yes. helping each other out. Yeah. Out, uh, consider them if anybody's watching. Um, what a great group of people! They brought a busload of people in here. Susan, their, their, um, I believe it's their director for um, promotions. Am I correct, uh, Spencer? Uh, great gal. But she was uh, had a group here a couple weeks back, and boy, oh boy, we thank you out there too. Oh yeah, oh yeah, the international. Well, uh, not again, but uh, Dave Meach, the founder, and and I have been buddies for way over forty years, 50, almost fifty years. He was my best man when I got married, and we just want to do everything we can to help each other. The better they are, the better we are. And uh, they feel the same. And uh, we just cooperate however we can to bring people to Ely. They'll go to both. Nice. That's really nice. But, again, we want to remind everybody about Give to the Max Day. Um, that is an important day for the North American Bear Center, an important day for our uh, collecting uh, donations for our pond repair, actually our pond redo, the pond itself, not the falls and the stream. But uh, we are going to be excited to get that project going. And we have, we have absolutely done so much with every dollar that's been donated yeah. that we just get people that can't believe it. <laughs> I can hardly believe what a penny pincher you are. Well, we pinch and we keep going, but uh, there's somebody I know that pinches pennies tighter than me. Uh-oh, don't tell them. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> but uh, together we can squeeze a penny pretty good. <laughs> right, that's right. That's right. But anyway, the main thing is, 
We don't know. It's true, though, that, I mean, uh, contrary to what I just said, we don't always p pinch the pennies at the moment. We're thinking down the line. And it's how do you get the mission accomplished? In fact, what I'd like to talk to about after a little bit, when, when, when it gets to it, maybe, is my view for the future. And, uh, and a lot of that is not about the bottom line. It's about accomplishing the mission, educating, especially kids. Well, they're telling me the sound's dropping out, so let's move up here just a little closer. I'm hearing it perfect, and I haven't heard it drop out. Have you, Spence? You've heard it drop out a few times? We are still dealing with uh, airwaves and different things. But, uh, you know, the biggest, the biggest thing that we want to say to everybody out there is thank you. And I know that during Give to the Max, uh, Dr. Rogers is going to be talking about his dreams and his goals because we don't have that time today to talk because he's going to go on for a while. But did you guys know out there that one fundraiser is Dr. Lynn Rogers? Oh, is that true? That's what you told me. Oh, okay. If I said it, it's true. <laughs> but anyway, we want to talk about one more thing. What's that? We have our membership drive going this month. Oh, good. Good. You know, you yeah. know that, right? We love members. Yes, and memberships and membership drives help us have folks that are here year-round for a year-long membership. There's many different levels that you can uh, find on our website, and that's at uh, www.bear.org. And you want to go on there and you want to check out the uh, levels that you can get. But boy, oh boy, that sure helps the Bear Center and supports the Bears, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. So we talked about those things. I think one more thing we want to talk about is Bears and hibernation. Huh. I, I know that i got to ask you this question. I now i got to be careful because I'm talking to experts. Okay, so i got a question for you. My daughter and son-in-law are out toward the Grand Marais area. Yeah. They have seen four different black bears in the last... And they've seen moose. Uh, but her question to me was, Dad, I bears were hibernating by now. Um, talk to me about that. Okay. I'll tell you. <laughs> uh, the, it's just that everything, everything that I've ever studied had a bell-shaped curve around it. Uh, there's a lot of them clustered in the middle, but there's some on in each tail, and some of them are later than others. And uh, and I believe it's genetically controlled, and I could go into that, but uh, and I don't know how finely it's genetically controlled, but conditions are way different down on the North Shore than they are just, you know, uh, what, uh, 75, 100 miles inland where we are here. And uh, so they may, bears, um, when they disperse from home, some of them go far. Uh, but I think one of the limits on uh, why they travel is controlled genetically by you don't want to go way beyond the area that you're adapted to. Okay. And so I published a peer-reviewed paper on that long ago, and uh, and nobody's disputed it. <laughs> well, you know, the other thing, the other thing that she was, they hibernate, and on a block again, and they want to come back out of hibernation because it's nice out. What happens to their fecal plug? Do they redevelop it? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. The fecal plug is just just an accumulation of feces in the colon uh, as cells die and slough off from the intestinal tract, and uh, and it builds up. And since the intestinal tract uh, takes water out of feces, it becomes pretty dry, and that's where the idea came from that it was a plug that they formed to prevent them from uh, eating. But they didn't, whoever thought of that, didn't think it's in the wrong end to prevent eating. So. <laughs> that's, that's true. I never thought of it that way. And so, I mean, there's a lot of things that you just wonder, how did they ever come up with that? And, uh, oh, the Bear Center here has got a number of those. I don't know, just a stream of thought here that uh, another one is that polar bears 
uh, have hollow hairs so that uh, when the sun hits it, it'll go right to their dark skin and they absorb the heat up there in that cold country. So it's kind of like a solar panel. That's polar and solar. Polar and solar. <laughs> yes, you're right. You're right on. So then, what they what they didn't think of, hey, when they need the heat, it's it's uh, completely dark up there, no sun. Oh. And when they have a problem with overheating, that's when the sun is out, and uh, and everything is opposite to this big thing that I see in books. You know, experts saying it like it's gospel. They, they, I mean, a lot of this stuff that's out there, just people didn't think. And so uh, until some some guy, you know, thought about it right, did some tests and uh, showed that the hollow hairs do not transfer heat, uh, the hollowness makes them just more insulative. <laughs> so, Jeez. so <laughs> I mean, you know, you and me would have thought of that if we thought about it. <laughs> Well, I got to tell you something. I never ever knew that. Yeah, I didn't. I never knew that. That was a good training session. Yeah. Hey, maybe maybe it was new to some of the people out there then too, but I doubt it well, because I bet you that's interesting. When I meet when I meet Lily fans here at the Bear Center, they're uh, what what I I mean I got to watch what I say because they can catch me on anything I say, especially about hibernation. They know the bears. They know they've they've read all the updates, and uh, so it's it's a joy to to run into that. You know, and one more thing, we're going to switch gears here just for a second. Another thing that I'd like to talk about is the success of the Wildlife Research Institute's uh, programs this last uh, summer and year. I know that you had uh, what is it, eight groups yeah, out I there know. this year, eight different courses, and about eight to nine people per course. Yeah. And um, I know that that whole that all those groups of people they, they stopped in here at the Bear Center with a nice bunch of people, yeah. and uh, they enjoyed that class. It was it was really a joy for them to be there. Cause they're not just listening to me blab; they're learning directly from the bears themselves, and everybody likes to do that. Well, you know, there's a, there's a good point, and you know that there are there are openings for next year. It fills up fast. But they have courses. If you go online to the Wildlife Research Institute, you'll see that there's courses that you can sign up for, and they fill up quickly. Uh, yeah. Well, they well they're not yet, but when will they be up? Do you know? Uh, Judy Thorne will tell me. I'm probably stressing Judy out Ju right now. Judy Thorne will tell me. <laughs> so they're not online yet, but be watching for them. They'll probably be online uh, soon. She's probably right now taking volume, wondering why I said that, Judy. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're sorry. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Are we really? But, but the, the, the nice thing is, I mean, what happens here is that somehow we end up surrounding, surrounded by talented, dedicated people that, uh, and like my job is to listen and and come out smelling like a rose. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to believe this. I just looked into my beeping pocket. And, Judy, you're watching. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> but she just posted that it's going to be up and uh, able to be signed up for November 1st. So I, I'm hoping that was her goal originally, <laughs> but it is now. <laughs> yep, yep, okay, yep, right, yeah, okay. Whatever she says, I do. So the WRI courses uh, for sign-up open up November 1st. They are limited. They go fast. So if you're interested, you might want to check into that. So we're going to go into another exciting thing that happened this week. What happened? And I'm excited. And you pressured me okay. to get it done. Really? And you didn't leave me much for options. Uh-oh. But we <laughs> turned on the Holly and Lucky Den Cam. Oh, yeah. With sound. Yeah. With sound. Yeah. Right, yeah. When do we turn it on? Uh, a couple of days. Monday? Because I, well, you, you haven't been reading my updates then. <laughs> I don't need to. I get them from you. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, because uh, that night uh, I talked about, I started the day uh, with you and Marl looking at the screen. of uh, the best picture in a den I'd ever seen. 
and uh, you like you said at the time you could if a bug crawled up a piece of straw you'd see it yes uh, it softened a bit with transmission but that camera that you guys bought is perfect and uh, um, and I'm glad that you were able to put it in well, once we knew that they were denning together we had to have a camera in there and so uh, it's capturing it well, and I know that uh, Spencer is going to get pictures. Uh, I don't know if he's gotten pictures. Oh, he says yes, he has gotten pictures, and I think you've sent them off to Kathy of the, what it looks like on the outside. But um, we've got a wooden box this year. It's mounted real good. And uh, Custom Theaters of Ely, Morrow, we want to thank you. He has really helped us out to get some good things going. But it was your idea to put in the slide plastic door, the Lexon, which we did. And it made me get a point the other day because Holly went up to it and didn't move it. <laughs> Wait a minute. He won and heard nothing so far yeah, this year. Right. Once in a while I have a good idea. <laughs> but I have to admit that most of them come from other people because I'm just I'm looking for input all the time. Yeah. Ideas come. All I... I'm the cheerleader, and I and I pick out the best ones, and we go forward. And so, uh, and the stuff I was going to talk about our future, um, a lot of that came from the rices. Oh, a lot of that came from the rices. Uh oh, I wonder how much I've said that nobody heard. Well, the only problem we probably got is a battery, so we just want to hold this upward toward the uh, deal. I didn't check the battery before we came out, and you're holding it real tight down here. But our, uh, you know, I think a lot of it went through. I know we've been cutting out a little bit, but not so bad for standing outside and not checking the battery because, you know, once in a while you and I just make mistakes. Oh, maybe you do. <laughs> I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. <laughs> Plenty of mistakes. Oh, you do? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But anyway, we want to, you know, we're, we were excited to get that cam going for everybody out there and uh, pump it up. And I did surprise people when I turned it on. It was one of those ones where I know Lynn likes surprises. and uh, But at the same time, it was a surprise because we didn't want to, you know, let everybody know about the cam and then have it not work right away. And because uh, we ran uh, stuff up there for sound and everything else, and yeah. it's it's really a touchy sound uh, little speaker. It's a little teeny speaker, and boy, does it pick up the sound. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. A bear breathed. A bear breathed near it, and I wonder what was that big sound. <laughs> well, we'll adjust it. Um, I just want to say I know that the moderators are on right now, and we got time for one question. Um, I think Marge or Liz is on right now, uh, whoever's on there, and I can watch on my phone if you want to. we got time for one question. And if you're on chat, ask that question. By the way, we have chat. We have this live, and it's a lot of fun. Yeah. And if you got a question for Dr. Lynn Rogers, let's get it up here quick. And uh, I'll tell him I'm watching my phone. And I'm going to give him the microphone right now, and he's going to hold it like I am. He's really good at learning like I am, too. Yep. I'm a fast learner. I do what I'm told. And uh, and this is a test to see if you all can hear us. And it's a test to see if you're watching, because we're waiting for a question. Yeah. Uh-oh, there's no questions. Oh, well. It's coming. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. We had Judy, but, we had Judy Thone, and she said it was the plan to begin with. She to have it done by November 1st for sign up on the uh, courses. Oh, good, good. Yep, everything's going smoothly. Don't you just love this technology? We can stand here. Yep. And we can watch for a question. Yep. And I'm waiting for Liz uh, or Marge to get us a question. Um, and if everybody out there's watching, we're waiting for this question. Oh, there, there can't be a question that that soon. When I, when I get up in front of an audience and I say I didn't prepare anything and if nobody asks a question, I won't know what to say, I have to have a, pl a question planted because nobody, because nobody can uh, think of a question that fast. So, and this was a surprise. And they probably don't like surprises any more than I do. Well, we've got a question. 
the first one is the sound's breaking up, and I apologize for that. I didn't check the battery before I came out here. Uh, but the question will be, will we have a den cam in the wild, and will Ted get more food? Ah, that's two questions. That's two qu- You guys are sneaky. Okay. Will Ted get more food till hibernation? And I'm going to have Sharon to come over here real quick. But you answer the question about the den cam in the wild. Well, if they're hard, if they're hard questions, then I, I usually shift them to somebody else. <laughs> Where's Sharon? Sharon, here, take over. <laughs> Sharon, do you answer that question now? Keep it short. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not that short. <laughs> well, um, if you're watching this morning, you saw uh, Spencer and I feed Ted. And Ted will get another meal in uh, as soon as we're finished. Okay, so and um, I do plan to feed. I'll be here for two weeks. Um, I'm doing give men, guys. I'm doing it. We want to see those funds come rolling in. And yes, Ted will eat until he decides to stop. Well, I hope it answered your question out there. But now we get the other question. What was the first question? It was, will there be a den cam out in the wild this year? Um. Uh, actually, and if the DNR is listening, uh, they will know this at this moment. Uh, I am going to make an application for that. Uh, at this point, uh, we've been just waiting for the bears to be into their dens and settle down. But we do want to go around and check some of our known dens. One of the dens uh, did have a den cam or a trail cam by it and uh, was getting uh, a family of bears, actually uh, Ellie and her cubs, uh, going in and out of it uh, as bears were approaching hibernation. So uh, we want to get a, we want to apply for a den cam, uh, but uh, you know how that can go. So, um, well, yeah, that, that's the plan. We'll see what happens. Well, as I'm busily uh, texting here in today's uh, wonderful world of electronics, um, I know Sharon uh, knows that Tasha's still denned. Lucky and Holly are pretty solid in their den, correct? That's correct, Scott. And Ted is still out keeping us amused slightly. Well, um, Ted had a hard decision to make today whether he was going to walk down here or go back in his den. And he did decide. I walked away and uh, just let him do what he was going to do. And he did come down. But um, he was very reluctant to. Uh, he stepped outside the gate and then just waited. I think he was. I thought maybe he was going to turn around and walk back in. But he did come down and then he went right back to his den. Well, that's fun. And, you know, we want to we wanna thank you. Uh, Dr. Rogers for coming down today. I know you've been busy. Yeah. I know you got a lot going on. Right, yeah. yeah. But we want to thank you for finally showing up, well, th- as promised. Thank you for asking me. How many times? Three. <laughs> Plus a couple zeros. <laughs> and then and, and then begging them. <laughs> and, then no, and then not giving you any ultimatum, right? Well, right, that's all true, but the real thing is that uh, I enjoy doing this do. and uh, connecting with the uh, Lily fans and all. Uh, but uh, the pressures and deadlines and stuff lately have been uh, pretty pretty stiff. And I got to stick up for him. He's really got a schedule, yeah. and uh, we knew that. We knew that going into it, and he's done a great job. <laughs> you know, and he. We have fun when we're together out here. Absolutely. We do, don't we? Yes. Well, yeah. All right. <laughs> so, yeah. Obvious. Uh, yeah. But uh, again, we want to thank Sharon for uh, the update on Ted. Yeah. Right. right. Is there yep. anybody else you want to thank out there before we sign off? Well, everybody that's listening, and and just as usual, you know, I just saw the main thing I say when I talk to Lily fans is thank you. That's a nice one, and we want to say thanks uh, for watching out there. We hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, segment of uh, live at the NABC with Dr. Lynn Rogers. Maybe I'll even be lucky enough to get him back here next Wednesday. One never knows, you know, but uh, we'll be doing this a couple more weeks. And the fun thing is, the truly, the fun thing is, is uh, save the date. Save the date. It's going to be Sharon, myself, and uh, Judy Thone are all going to be out uh, giving our time to have some fun. 
and uh, get that number up to where it needs to be for a gift to the max day. And I know you're going to help. Well, okay, if you say, if you say so, I will. Well, we got to have the number one fundraising guy there. Well, the pressure. <laughs> <laughs> he works well under pressure. Believe me, I've seen him under pressure, and he does well. <laughs> oh, yeah. I try. <laughs> you don't need to try. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just fun to, I mean, the whole thing is just a joy. It is. And I, and I especially like watching the numbers go up and uh, knowing how everybody out there is giving so hard. Remember to spread the word that Give to the Max Day is November 15th. We'll be broadcasting uh, live from the Cub Room, which was developed and paid for by you guys out there. And they're telling me it's going to be completed by the 10th. So here we go. Uh, one, one little question on my okay. part. Okay. Uh, how are the donors that make this possible going to be recognized how are the the question is how are the donors that make this pond possible going to be recognized we'll probably have a plaque in between the windows of course everything will be approved by you okay. that'll say that this uh pond was uh donated solely by the uh give to the max day group uh we can't really put individual names there because there'd be too many right yeah. but uh, we will definitely have a plaque that says that it was due that this pond Reconstruction was due to the uh, Give to the Max Day donations. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Thank you. Or whatever they come up with or you and, come up uh, with, that's better. But, yeah, and we'll we'll see if, if uh, people out there that heard this question have ideas of their own. That's true. That's a great way to do it. And I know that, like the tree here, what's this uh, cedar tree called? Uh, the pat tree. The pat tree. And what's this one called? The honey tree. Named by Lily fans. Lily fans. So we, we like we like to listen, and if you got any ideas, uh, feel free to email them to Dr. Lynn Rogers or myself. But um, we will be excited to see you next Wednesday at uh, live at the NABC at uh, 1 p.m. Ely time, which is Central time. And again, thank you very much, and you have a great day. And thank you, Doctor. Thank you. Have a good day now. Thank you. Bye now. <laughs>